Good. You got a lot of playing time last year with all the uh, the rotation that you guys had. Uh, talk about that playing time last year and how that maybe is going to help you. This. I think it's crucial because um, we've got a lot of guys, you know, that have experience. We've got, you know, five or six guys that played last year despite, you know, not really starting. Um, we've got a lot of guys that have gotten more reps because of that, and they feel comfortable stepping up. You know, it's not like a new thing for us. Um, everybody's, everybody knows several positions, and it makes the transition a lot easier, too. And we're trying to do that with the new groups, too. You know, that's the plan. So you're stepping in that, that, that Kenny Rowe spot. Some things that maybe you learned from him, picked up from him? Yeah, um, learned a lot from him, you know. He led the Pac-10 in sacks, you know, uh, not last year, but the year before. And there's just a lot of leadership uh, things that he brought to the table, too, with the D-line. So, you know, you got to watch the older guys and learn from them, the uh, right and the wrong, and pass that down to the younger guys. And that's what we're trying to do right now. That position, what do you like about it? Uh, what maybe about that position fits you? I love everything about it because, I mean, you get to do a little bit of everything, and that's just what's so great. I mean, I can drop into coverage, I can rush, play some end. You know, it's still kind of a linebacker role as well, which I've been used to in the past. Um, so that's why I enjoy it. But. So when you first got here, what were they plugging you in? Um, when I first got here, I played some Mike linebacker, played some Will linebacker, um, you know, played a couple of the, those middle linebacker positions throughout the first two, three years, and then got moved over last spring. So I've been at the drop end spot ever since. Anything from playing the, the mic and the will that helps you playing the drop? Yeah, I think so. Um, because playing the drop spot, you know, it's more of an outside linebacker role, which is fairly similar. Uh, it's playing on the inside in terms of blitzing and coverage assignments and everything. So it's helped. Knowing that Kenny was graduating and you were his backup, how did you prepare yourself for stepping into that role? Just learn as much as I could, you know, uh, both uh, just from what he showed on the field to leadership. And uh, that was the same for the other guys. I mean, you look at the other guys we lost, like Brandon Bear and Zach Clark and just all those guys. They were, everybody brought something special to the table. So it wasn't really just one position you had to look at, but several. Okay. Um, physically, you know, no bang ups, no bruises, no anything. No, you? not too bad. Been Great. fairly healthy, which is good. And that's the plan, you know, just keep banging everybody else. Defense had a great day Wednesday. Uh, what was it that you guys were doing? That was so you know, I, I think we just came out ready to go. You know, we came out with the mentality, you know, this is a national championship. And we try to come out with that every day. But I think the key is to bring what we brought to the scrimmage to every single practice. You know, just because it's a scrimmage doesn't mean it's something special. It just means we actually get to tackle people live. That's the only difference to me. And so we need to instill that in everybody else, too, along with the offense, and make sure they're fired up, ready to go, too. We need to push each other throughout the spring and the fall. What we're hearing from Cliff and from others about Cliff is a little more mature now. Are you seeing that? How do you see his maturity? Yeah, I'd agree with that, um, especially on the field. You know, I've got to talk to him occasionally, you know, coverage assignments and everything. And he knows his stuff. He's really stepped up. He's matured in terms of, you know, being off the field and being a leader on the field. And, you know, it's starting to come through. And I think people see that. And given his abilities, everybody's taken him as a leader before. But it was kind of, you know, you had to take it with a grain of salt. But um, I think he's really stepped into his role. And, and that's with years of maturity, too, because he's been here a couple years now, where before, you know, he'd only been here a year or two. So you look at it, you're like, I don't know if you're ready for a leadership role. But, you know, I think he's stepped up really well. For you, what are the maybe one or two things you want to get out of this spring? You know, just get better, um, get myself better, get everybody else better, you know, whether it's from the D-line to the defense. The whole team needs to get better, really. But it's just an improvement. Uh, spring that's what we need we got a lot of young guys and so I think we need to instill you know what the older guys know from previous seasons in the young guys and bring everybody up to speed